Yo guys, what up? Me, Patrick LeVar, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to do a small review and give you guys some of my uh, feelings about the movie cinematic robot. The story begins, I was in transit from America to Japan from the holiday break and I received an email. My eyes lit up brightly when I saw the subtext said cinematic robot. I was immediately jolted to open this app because I'm always looking for help being a rogue filmmaker to, uh, to have something to help me get the shots that I'm always looking to get. Now when I opened up the gimbal and actually saw it for the first time, I was quite surprised at its shape. It's definitely different from all the other gimbals that I've actually used. So at first, like they say, never judge a book by its cover. Well, you shouldn't judge this gimbal by the way it looks. Because actually when I actually handed it, I mean handled it, it felt comfortable in my hands. I liked how all the buttons were at access on my thumb and I had the, uh, the trigger controls on the back. Um, it felt really good and the weight is not too bad. The quality of the plastic, feels, it felt a little cheap at first, but you needed to get the weight down. You don't want it to be too heavy, especially when you're holding it with one hand. Now one thing I was quite surprised about this gimbal was the quality of the app. Every gimbal I get, I always try it with the it's uh, with its mother app. And almost all the time the apps are of lesser quality than the actual gimbal. Uh, but for the first time, I was actually surprised at how good this app was. For one thing that surprised me was every time when I would uh, reboot the, uh, the gimbal and turn on the app, it automatically connected. Most of the time, I always will have to go back into my Bluetooth settings, find the gimbal, connect, reconnect, but this thing actually remembered it. So uh, it, that was like the biggest surprise to me. And then when you first have the gimbal, it comes in this very stock mode, this majestic mode, which is very cool. It allows you to uh, adjust the, the response speed of the gimbal from fast, slow to medium. And then on top of that, you have this thing called like a dead zone where you will click the window, this window zone, and you can kind of guide it. It has like how sharp it moves. So if you're panning to the left, it will ease into the left and ease into the right and up and down. And you can adjust the sensitivity of how much you really want that to affect. Or you can turn it off and go to fast mode and get a really fast, quick response. Very cool. But when you put this thing in its ninja mode, then everything just really opens up. Uh, it has this thing called echo where you can do A to B point selection. You can uh, select your A marker, select your B marker, and so adjust the time between and it will automatically go. Plus it has some presets in there, left and right, up and down. Very cool. The motion lapse, um, very also cool. The whole gimbal kind of puts itself in this slow motion movement. So as you were to do a time, uh, a moving lapse, if you were following somebody, the gimbal is slowly going to move to your adjustment so you won't have that herky-jerky motion when you're trying to do a movie lapse. Then it has the traditional time lapse mode also, which you can set A and B points and a couple of presets, very cool. And then the orbit mode, which took me a while to get used to, but after I've got the hang of it, very cool because I try to do orbit this orbit mode on many of my other gimbals and it's it takes a little bit of practice when you're circling around the subject or, or an object it takes some practice but with this it makes it really cool I can set the time and then hit start and all I have to do is just walk in a circle around this and maintain my speed and the gimbal is just going to to basically do all the major work for you and then the barrel roll mode, which most gimbals now are starting to come out with, um, which is very cool. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. You can set the speed and the direction. Very cool on this one. And then again, the smart pod, which I've been using to uh, a lot, which I also use on some of my other gimbals. When you have the gimbal on a tripod, it's very cool. And I can just adjust the move, uh, basically the position where I want it. And it sits there. It's just basically like it says a smart pod. So very 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 happy with the app recently i've been using the app while i'm using the gimbal more than any app that i've ever used with any of my gimbals on the downside i don't really have too many negative things to say about this gimbal um the actual hardware itself is it's fantastic um I, I really seriously don't have any really big gripes about the actual gimbal of course always software i wish they had a rule of thirds 
guide or some type of guide on there. I mean, I don't need it personally, but it would just help, you know, beginner filmmakers to have that rule of thirds on there. And uh, it would be nice to have a couple little bit more features as far as like a filming profile and uh, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not a Filmic Pro. It's, you know, it's an app that's made for the gimbal. It's not really a filming, filming app. So I can't complain there. But on the other side, you know, I was thinking about making this really cool montage using Filmic Pro and grading it and, you know, running it through Image Stabilizer. But, you know, most people are not going to be able to do that when they buy this gimbal. So I'm just going to show a couple of the videos that I've been used uh, that I've used to test this gimbal out. And they're some of they're from my gimbal uh, tips. Uh, playlist that I've uh, recently started and it's pretty much just straight up out of the app I'm not using any special app. I'm just using the gimbal So if somebody was to buy this gimbal straight out of the box, this is what you're going to see uh, This is what you're going to be able to achieve and I actually edit most of these videos on my cell phone On top of that just to make it just more accessible for or more real-time of what somebody would actually if someone actually purchased this and they edited in, you know, Kind Master, what they're able to achieve. So, other overall, is this my number one gimbal? Man, it's very close, guys. I'm telling you, it's a very close tie to my to the Zunian Smooth 4. Uh, the Zunian Smooth 4, because of its capability with Filmic Pro, is just absolutely awesome. And my 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 for me as a filmmaker, Filmic Pro is the workhorse. Filmic Pro is what I'm able to achieve the, the looks that I can do. And I swear, if this gimbal had that access to Filmic Pro, this probably would be the number one gimbal. Would I buy this gimbal for its price? Yes, hardware-wise, it is absolutely fantastic. So, if you guys are looking for a gimbal, you might want to take a look at this gimbal. Anyways, Patrick LeVar, keep filming. Link and all the info will be down in the description. Like, share, and, you know, do all that social media garbage. Patrick LeVar, keep filming. Peace.